Today, let's consider a special equation, 1 to the power x equals negative 1. We know from high school, 1 to the power any number equals 1. So it seems this equation doesn't have any solutions. Yes, if we only consider real valued functions. But if we extend to complex valued functions and allow multi values of an expression, then you should have solutions. Due to the fundamental theorem of algebra, every nth order, every nth degree polynomial has n complex roots. Let's find some solutions. Consider x squared equals 1. According to the theorem, it has two solutions. Yes, we know that x equals 1 and negative 1. On the other hand, let's raise both sides to the power of half. So we get x squared to the power half equals 1 to the power half. Using exponent rule, the left side is x, right? The right side, 1 to the power half. Combine these two, we get conclusion. The expression 1 to the power half has two values, 1 and negative 1. So 1 to the power half equals negative 1. So x equals half would be one solution. Now let's figure out another. Consider x to the power 4 equals 1. Again, using the theorem, you should have four solutions. To figure out these solutions, let's use the Euler's formula. For any real number x, e to the power, e, e to the power i x equals cosine x plus i times sine x where i is the imaginary unit, i squared equals negative 1. Because 1 can be written as 1 plus i times 0, we know cosine 0 equals 1, sine 0 equals 0. But sine and cosine are periodic functions with period 2, so we can write 1 as cosine 0 plus 2k pi plus i times sine 0 plus 2k pi, right? Using Euler's formula, we can write it as e to the power 2k pi i. Plug in. So we get x to the power 4 equals e to the power 2k pi i. Both sides raise the power a quarter. So we get four, uh, x to the power 4 to the power a quarter equals e to the power 2k pi i raised to the power a quarter. So you see the left side is x. The right side is e to the power k pi i over 2, where again k can be any integers. Although there are infinite many integers, but there's only four different values for x. They are the following. When k equals 0, e to the power 0, we get 1, right? When k equals 1, we get e to the power pi i over 2. When k equals 2, we get e to the power pi i. You can see that would be cosine pi plus i times sine pi, which is negative 1. The last one, e to the power 3 pi i over 2. So actually, they are four points on the unique circle of the complex plane. So here is 1, here is e to the power pi i over 2, and here is negative 1. And here is e to the power 3 pi i over 2. So it is four points on the unique circle, right? Anyway, but on the other hand, again, from this equation, we raise both sides to the power of a quarter. So we get x to the power 4 and then to the power of a quarter, the right side. 
e equals 1 to the power of 1 over 4. The left side is x. The right side, 1 to the power of 1 over 4. So, what? See, x has four values, but x can be written as this one. That means 1 to the power of 1 over 4 has four values. See, that's 1 e to the power of pi i over 2, and then negative 1, and then e to the power of 3 pi i over 2. That means 1 to the power of 1 over 4 equals negative 1. So another solution would be x equals 1 over 4. To figure out all the solutions, because 1 equals e to the power of 2k pi i, and negative 1 equals negative 1 plus i times 0. You know, cosine pi equals negative 1, sine pi equals 0. Again, because these two functions are periodic function with period 2 pi. So we can write a negative 1 as cosine pi plus 2n pi plus i times sine pi plus 2n pi. Okay, so using uh, order's formula again, so we can write as e to the power, of, I can change this one to 2n plus 1 pi, right? So we can write as 2n plus 1 pi. So plug in the given equation, so we get e to the power 2k pi i to the power of x equals negative 1, which is e to the power 2n plus 1, yeah, plus 1, pi, i, oh, pi i, sorry. Both sides apply law. We get law, oh, no, no, uh, yeah, you can apply on, but at the, on the same time, we use the exponent rule, we get ln e to the power 2k pi i x, the right side, ln e to the power 2n plus 1 pi i. Now we know the exponent can be put in front of ln, and also ln e equals 1, right? So we get 2k pi i x equals the right side with 2n plus 1, 2n plus 1, uh, pi i. Now we cancel pi i from both sides. So we get 2k x, uh, 2k x, yeah, 2k x equals 2n plus 1. So both sides divide by 2k, we get x equals 2n plus 1 over 2k, where k and r integers. But of course, k cannot be zero, right? So you see, these are all the solutions of the given equation. Actually, you can recover 1 over 2 by setting n equals 0, k equals 1, we get 1 over 2, right? When we set n equals 0, k equals 2, we get a quarter. 